there was actually a WWE star that nearly missed the Elimination Chamber 2024 PLE in this video. I'm going to tell you who that is, why it almost happened, and how the person actually went forward with their match. Because the PLE was interesting. It was the first Australian 20... It was the first Australian PLE since 2018. It had two chamber matches, one of which was the women's match, won by Becky Lynch, earning her shot at Rhea Ripley, our women's world champion. They will square off at WrestleMania 40. The other co-main event, it was going to be the winner. The men's chamber winner would then challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania 40. That match was won by Drew McIntyre. The show was main evented by Nia Jax challenging and ultimately falling to our women's world champion, Nia, or excuse me, Rhea Ripley. Mm -hmm. So, coming out of that show, we learned something very interesting regarding the show. Because plans can change on a drop of a hat in WB, especially when Vinnie Mac, Vince McMahon was running things. He would constantly change his mind about plans, what to do, what not to do, who to push, who not to push, who to go over, who not to go over. Under Triple H, though, things are a little bit more streamlined. Plans rarely change just because he changes his mind. Most of the time, it's due to factors out of his control. Injuries, a la CM Punk originally supposed to work the Elimination Chamber event, originally supposed to win that said match and go on and challenge World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. How about this? Seth Rollins, he was supposed to defend the World Heavyweight title against Bronson Reed on Elimination Chamber, but once he went down with a knee injury, well, those plans were nixed. WrestleMania 40 has undergone various changes because of injury and backstage politics. Well, Raquel Rodriguez nearly missed this show, and this is the, the topic of today's video because she is dealing with MCAS. It is a mass cell syndrome type of thing. What is it? What, what is the syndrome that she's dealing with? Well, it is a really, really intense, severe allergic reaction. Various symptoms for various things. You break out in hives, your face swells up, uh, you get pink marks all over your body. She actually went very in-depth and has been throughout the process that's been played out for the last three months or so regarding this allergic reaction. And she shared a heartbreaking video uh, recently on Instagram that I highly recommend you go out and check out because it does document what this poor woman has to go through. And it was flaring up on the flight over to Australia, which is a very long flight. Now, she had missed about a month of action due to this syndrome. She had recently returned to WB television from this syndrome. And so when it flared up, there was a legitimate concern that she may have to be forced off the card because of it. To the point where it was reported that she missed the practice match. And they were not sure whether or not she was going to work the show or not. Fortunately, though, she was able to do so. She credited the makeup team for helping her out. And she pushed forward. And she actually had a pretty good outing in this match. But she nearly missed it. 